Hello and welcome back to another episode of Hexplorit Tips and Tricks. Today we're gonna cover some armor. Ugh. Just switch game modes here. Alright, so this is all the different types of armor you can get. You got your vanilla, leather, chain, iron, gold, and diamond. You got your farlanders. Bloop. You can look all this stuff up in uh, any eye. But the farlanders full set of armor gives you speed, night, jump, and resistance. And you lose night vision from the helmet, the resistance from the chest, speed from the legs, and jump from the boots. Uh, you got magical props, you got infused, and the regular, uh, the diamond infused, and the purple diamond boots. The only difference is this one is unbreaking and this one isn't. You got your millionaire armor which you get from the villagers once your reputation gets high enough. You got your Byzantine or Norman. You got red and blue the Yorio. You got the Kikios and you got the Byzantine. And they all give pretty decent armor. The Norman and Byzantine are the highest rating. Uh, you got your Nature, which is the imp skin armor, which gives you some nice little fire protection made from imps in a nether kill. You got your Biomes of Plenty, so you got the Wade Boots, which help you walk in water. The Flippers, swim faster in water. You got your Mud Armor, just basic quick easy to make armor if you spawn near a swamp or something. Then you got your almighty azimuth armor. One of the best armors. Actually I think it might be the best armor in the game. You get from the promised lands. And doo -doo. Then you got your metallurgy. You got the base, precious, nether, fantasy, and end. So the end, you get those materials from the end. You got Exomite, and then the next tier of Deshi Lakop, whatever. But most of these are full armor. A lot of them give you, these are another ones here. And Fantasies, now all this ore, Tarite right here is the highest tier. This stuff here. This is the highest tier of all metallurgy. It's found in the open world and twilight. All the ore is found between 0 and 128. The rate of spawn is the only difference as far as finding the ore. And adamantine and Alterus are the hardest to find. Uh, you got your precious. Yeah, this one looks awesome. The Electrum. Uh, Quicksilver. And what's this? Astral? No, silver. Alright. And brass boots you can see, not that good, not that good. The precious, yeah. The durability is pretty low on those. But if you just want to start with the basics, you get the, you know, the copper. Then you get the uh, bronze. Yeah, bronze. Then Damascus steel, really good. And Agmalin, which is like gold steel and then a better time oh that's pretty low never mind steel is better than that you go to another you get igneous a lot of material you find a lot of is vexorite veroxys that gives you really good armor and cervicus or this one sanguine the highest tier you're gonna get from the nether really good armor almost as good as Tartarite. Um, specialty armors here we got the uh, Zulu Project Zulu so if you want scale armor you got your leather iron gold and diamond diamond is really good look pretty cool you can make some cloth armor three different colors not the best armor but you look cool hey and you can also make fire armor which is still not that good 
you get it from killing uh, uh, Project Zulu animals. You got Pam's Desert Craft, so you, if you're in the desert, you can make desert armor. Something quick, a little easy starter armor, help you out a little bit. And you got uh, Dark Lord RPG. You can't make this armor, you just gotta find it. But it gives you fire resistance too, as long as you're wearing it. I believe you have to wear all the pieces. Oh no. So just wearing the helmet, or just wearing one piece. Just wearing one piece gives you fire resistance too. So if you just want to find a pair of pants, you can throw those on if you have fire issues. Uh, next up, Choco Quest. Chocolate Quest. Which comes with a lot of stuff. You got the scouter here, which is just gives you night vision, but also when you run up to a mob, it gives you this. This little boss bar which tells you the health of it. You take it off, bloop, and that boss bar is gonna go away, and it's there it goes. Then you just get the normal, that's what it looks like. Throw it on, and you can see the little scouter tells you it's over 39. Yeah. That's what the scouter does. You can't craft it, you have to find it. Uh, you can get a little dragon helmet, which gives you more health and more damage. So you got a couple, or a heart and a, two hearts extra. Really good for extra armor, look cool. You can get the ice bull helm, which gives you plus two damage. I'm having a heat stroke. Just cool off a little bit. Uh, Alright, and you can get the uh, little wizard robes, you got the lynch robes, and the uh, mage robes you get from killing those bosses in their respective towers you find them. You can get the king armor, which is just a nice looking armor, gives you a little helmet. Uh, you can craft these, these are the cloud boots. If you, you go fast, you jump high, and you don't take any fall damage. The boots take damage instead. Uh, a full set of, of turtle armor. If you really good armor, you find this stuff. You can dress up like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Da da da. Calabunga, dude. And you can craft the, these are the heavy armors out of diamond and iron. Come on, you can give me that. So you got the armor, iron, heavy armor, which slows you down, gives you knockback resistance. It gives you full armor out of iron, really good. And diamond, same thing, more durability, full armor. It slows you down and gives you knockback. We went over this stuff. Uh, a lot of these things will give you full armor. Uh, Tinker's Construct, here we go, uh, you can Make your own uh, armor on these, so you got modifiers remaining sturdy, so you can make it straight up damage armor, you can make it straight up survival armor. First armor you can craft would be, if you're not near mud, is wood, which gives you, you know, three, three armor points. Uh, take your steel works, you make from steel, which gives you some really good armor. It's added by Tinker your steel works. Um, Twilight Forest mod is added, so you got all these. You got your ironwood, which got a little bit of enchants on it. You got your fiery, which you make from hydro blood or whatever hydra. You got your night armor, which is made from the night chunks that you get in the goblin dungeon in there. Uh, you got the naga scale tonic that you get from nagas. You got your phantom helm and phantom plate which I don't know where you get from. And then you got your steel leaf, which you, where you find steel leaves, especially in the mazes. Alright, uh... You got another X, which gives you these three new ores in the nether. You'll find a ton of this fuck venomite, which gives you pretty good. Then you got uh, magma, which gives you fire resistance, really good, especially if you want to split the lava. And top tier would be the necromite, which you find in dungeons. Shipwrecks gives you a diving suit, which gives you slowness and night vision, and water breathing. As long as you got the full set on, you're good. Uh, Ultimate Nether adds two armors. You get the glowstone armor. You don't glow in the dark though, sadly. 
uh, as soon as this wears off. Uh, you can see there's no extra light around me. Which would have been really cool if that actually lit up. You can walk around as a human torch. And it adds the epic nether armor which gives you full armor also. Uh, choco craft, you can uh, make a choco suit which has no texture. Which is really crummy, it's really horrible armor but it looks cool when the texture is loaded but unfortunately it's not loaded here. You dress up like a chocobo. And last we got uh, Pam's Harvest Craft. The food mod has armor. It has this thick leather or hardened leather armor you can make. Gives you really good armor out of leather. So I mean there there is you know the best and not so best. You know, azimuth, amethyst is really good. It's probably one of the best. But a lot of this stuff gives you full armor and the metallurgy stuff, the tartarite and all this stuff has great, it, you can enchant it really well. So you want to look into these. You got specialty armors and stuff like that. You want certain things like ship diving, go diving. When you go look at those uh, ships at the bottom of the ocean, ex exploration all that stuff. You can role play and dress up real nice. So don't aim for in the far land, it gives you nice little bonuses. Uh, Civilianaire has really good looking armor. My recommendation is figure out which armor you like the look of or if you're roleplaying a certain way get that armor. You don't really need the best of the best armor to find this mod pack. I'd, you should really go for looks more than you know defense just because it's more fun that way. That's my personal opinion. You can run around with the scouter if you really wanted to. But that's it, just a quick overview of the armor, and uh, next episode, next Friday, will be about the weapons. And all the million weapons you can make, especially with Tinker's Constructs, you can make so many weapons. I'll cover that next time, so I hope you guys enjoyed, got to look at all the armors. Uh, pick out a look and go with that, you can mix and match, you know, you want fire resist from Dark Lord's RPG with some night vision from Farlander's helmet stuff and make some really cool armors don't stick to just I'm gonna wear asthma because it's the top tier all right I hope you guys enjoyed hope this helped you out a little bit if you want to see the armor points on all the armors I showed off just you can pause the video thanks for watching